they didn't announce it anywhere that the drop rate was going to be different. So it could just be, you know, we changed the drop rate. Sorry. <laughs> only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about drop rates and stuff surrounding drop rates. This is a Facebook and web specific video, but we are going to reference Hero Wars Mobile a little bit. So if you are a player for either, consider sticking around. You might learn something. You might not. I don't know. Before we go any further, there are some links in the description down below. You're going to want to reference those as I work through this video. I've done videos like this in the past. And, uh, you know, every now and then something happens that makes me need to discuss them yet again. So if you are interested in Hero Wars news and some strategy and some some great community and, and all of that, then please consider subscribing and uh, leave a like on the video if you find it uh, helpful or entertaining or whatever. But we have this Grim Hunger event live right now on Hero Wars Facebook and web. This is the this is the Mort Titan release event and about a week ago we had the Kiros Titan release event right and all eight of these tasks are you know they're all tied up in doing just basic gameplay stuff no different than usual but the reward are these dolls right we're no stranger to dolls they're loot boxes right they're uh, a, a box of random stuff okay now the the Kiros event was very well very well received it seems like we got Kiros to pretty high star level very quickly. I even made a video talking about how much I loved the event. Uh, probably had a, a lot to do with the fact that I didn't have to spend that much. I didn't have to really do that much in order to get a, a four star Kiros. And just, you know, just to kind of show you where I'm at with my Kiros and my more, and I'm going to be referencing this a couple of times as we go through this video. My Kiros is a four star Kiros. He's 272 soul stones into it. And I don't know if you recall my Kiros doll opening video or the other video where I discuss how much I like the event, but I spent less than 6,000 emeralds for the weekend, right? As a average pay to play player, I spend uh, between a thousand and fifteen hundred emeralds every day. That's kind of the budget that I've set for myself as a content creator. Everybody else's emerald budget is obviously going to be very different, but I spent less than six thousand emeralds. I have a strong guild, and members of my guild spend a lot of money buying the bundles, the uh, uh, you know the uh, the Titan Soul bundles that we had last week for the Kiros dolls plus emeralds plus VIP points plus gold, and everybody in your guild gets these. So my guild bought a handful of these. I don't know exactly how many they bought, but they seem to have bought about the same amount based on the people that I've talked to in my guild. Some have even bought less than, uh, than the Kuros event. The issue, the issue that has come up and the reason why I'm making this video is there's this perception that the drop rates of soul stones out of the Mort dolls, the drop rate of soul stones is less than the drop rate of soul stones for the Kiros event, all right? And people are trying to spend money in order to get to an absolute star Mort during this event. I'm not really sure why. Sooner or later, Mort and Kiros will be in the Titan Circle of Summoning Spheres. This has already been discussed. They will be in these spheres eventually. I'm not sure why I would spend any money just to save myself a couple of weeks when it really, it doesn't matter. If you're in some kind of arms race for the top 30 guilds in the world or whatever for Clash of Worlds, and I, I get it, I do. I just, to me, it's not worth spending the $225 for the bundle. Anyway, I spent about 6,000, uh, 5,000 emeralds or so on the event last week for Kiros. And like I showed you, 272 out of 900. Uh, we are in day three of the Mord event. We have like 10 hours left. And you can see I'm about 93 soul stones away from a four star. So in total, you know, about three, 400 soul stones different, right? Three to 400 soul stones difference between the two. So you might say, ha, ah, you know, there you go, Charlie. There you go, Charlie. See, you're getting less, you're getting less more soul stones than you are Kiro soul stones. Well, the problem with that, the problem with that is that I've actually spent only 22, 2200, 2300 emeralds on this event. Now, is it possible that my guild spent more on bundles than they say they have, or they spent more because they're not getting as much? It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Is the drop rate of the Mort dolls worse? We will never know. We will absolutely never know. It's tough to say. It's even tough to hear. We may get some kind of official response from a community manager discussing this, 
But if we do, I would be surprised if it's anything more than we don't really publish drop rate information for this stuff. The thing is, guys, the thing is, the thing we got to keep in mind, this is a this is a business. They're trying to get money out of us. That's the play. It's a psychological, emotional, uh, you know, hook habit, hobby kind of situation. It's a casino, right? It's basically uh, um, a casino with gamification, right? That's what slot machines are. That's what the, that's what this game is. There's nothing saying that they can't change the drop rates of the Mort doll as it compares to the Kiros doll. It is definitely possible that the Kiros doll drop rates for Soul Stones was like 17%. And the drop rate for Soul Stones in the Mort dolls is 3%. They could do that. Like they never said that they are, had that they have to be equal. They never say that they have to be equal. Meta or Facebook or whatever doesn't force Nexters to disclose drop rate information. That is not something that they ever have to share unless they are told to by Facebook or Meta or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the Hero Dash Wars, the browser version of the game, is beholden to nobody. Like, there's no platform that forces them to share the drop rate information. The only reason why we have this page, the Hero Wars mobile drop rates, is because the iOS App Store and the Android App Store requires apps and games and all of that due to federal law and law of different, uh, different uh, sovereign nations across the world. They are requiring those app stores to require the games and stuff in them to disclose drop rate percentages. And this is one of the links that I was suggesting. This link is in the description box down below. And again, this is for the mobile version of the game. Talks about stuff that the drop rate for the heroic chest, uh, the sequence uh, uh, of the drop rate chance for Cleaver, how it gets improved. It doesn't actually come out and say some of the things that we really want to know. And they don't have to disclose it to 100% information. They just kind of have to reference it a little bit. They've got drop rate information for the circle of summoning. They've got drop rate information for the artifact chests and the chaos core, you know, the, the artifact fragments by chest level, the outland chest drop rates, the tower chest drop rates, the exchange shop drop rates. By the way, 0.03% chance to get the times 100 emerald exchange if you're trying to uh, transfer emeralds into gold. They are required by law, by some law, by, you know, European law or, or the law of the United States government or, or whatever, they have to disclose this stuff or, or app stores have to force the games to disclose this stuff. And it's not the case. It's not the case for Hero Wars Facebook and web, unfortunately. So I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people that have come to me over the past two days to say, hey, Charlie, the drop rate for the Soul Stones out of the Mort dolls are, uh, are worse. Here is my data. I'm getting a lot of data. And some of it is very, very small populations, like 50 dolls. Some of it is a lot of populations, like 225 dolls or, you know, whatever the, uh, whatever the big bundle is. Yeah, 250 dolls. Some people are sharing the information about that with me. But the problem is, is you could just be incredibly unlucky and that would skew your feeling about the drop rates. I could be incredibly lucky and it could, it could absolutely skew my, uh, my thoughts and, and idea about the drop rate percentage and, and, and everything. So we we can possibly figure it out kind of if we got enough data, but at the same time, we could just easily write it all up to bad luck, right? And well, well that sucks. Well, it's not good at all. I don't think that we'll ever get the get the real answer with this. So please guys, be mindful of what we're dealing with here. We're we're dealing with a uh, a mechanism that will allow you to get to a point faster. Buying these dolls, spending money on these dolls is getting you to somewhere faster that you will get there anyway, okay? And if you're spending and somebody else is spending just to keep up, then that's an arms race and, and good luck to you. Enjoy the game however you want to play the game. That's that's not, not any of my concern whatsoever. But I, I can't tell you for sure. Based on my experience, the drop rate hasn't really been that bad. It hasn't really been that bad. I could probably spend another 4,000 emeralds to get up to that 6,000-ish emerald mark like I did on the Kiros event, and then I could probably get a better idea, but being only two to 300 soul stones away from a four star, uh, for having the same amount of soul stones as I got during the Kiros event, that's a, that's too small of a sample size for me to uh, have any kind of justification. So uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any kind of feeling that your drop rate is low also, all right? Let me know what you guys think about it. If you definitely think there is a, a change in the drop rate from the Mort event to the Kiros event. Let me know if you think there has not been a change. Uh, just, just let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will use this video. I will share this video with community managers and all of that with Hero Wars and say, hey guys, here's a bunch of people that have a feeling that the drop rate was weird. 
they didn't announce it anywhere that the drop rate was going to be different. So it could just be, you know, we changed the drop rate. Sorry. <laughs> and that would suck. But it would, you know, it is, it is what it is. So, and if it does come out that the drop rate chance was adjusted and it was a bug, then, you know, you, uh, hopefully we get something uh, in the form of compensation. But if it does come out that the drop rate was changed and they just did it because the drop rate for Kiros was too high, then really we only have ourselves to blame for continuing to spend on something that we felt like wasn't giving us a good return. All right. So please don't get too upset over all of this. It's just a game. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.